So we talked about how the Minnesota Fighting Vikings cornerback room is already sort of four deep set. So you got Mike, comeback player of the year, Hughes. You got Holton, can't suspend me now, Hill. Uh, Jeff El Hefe Gladney, as well as Holmey Closer, Cameron Dantzler. But after that, it's kind of YOLO, right? So, I mean, second year, seventh rounder, Chris Boyd is in the mix. Maybe he plays some safety. Uh, same thing with Ricky Harrison Hand coming out of Temple. The CFL dude, Marcus Sales, that's about it. But also... People sleep on and they forget second year former UDFA cornerback Nate Meadows, the pride of UCLA. That's right. Him, Barr, Kendricks will trade for Miles Miles Jack. Chemistry. Let's get after it. I mean, Meadows made some noise last year in the preseason. Uh, maybe he'll build on that uh, heading into year two for the 2020 Vikings. Talk about him today. So background, uh, Nate Meadows, uh, 5'11", a buck 94, a former three-star recruit from San Gore Ganillo, I think I nailed it, high school in San Bernardino, California, uh, was basically offered, all right, so Notre Dame, Boise State, and then basically all the Pac-12, uh, then decided to take his talents to UCLA, Westwood, what is up, uh, three-year starter for the Bruins. Uh, he, he was building up a, a really nice resume his first three seasons uh, at UCLA, you know, headed into a senior season uh, in 2018, you know, when the coaching staff that recruited him uh, under then-head coach Jim Mora Jr. was like, Pfft. You got him. You got him. Washed out. They brought in Chip Kelly. And then Chip Kelly's um, you know, defensive scheme, it was different. So Metters thrived through the first three years being a, pr a predominantly press man cornerback, which is what he's great at. But 2018 is playing a lot more off coverage, playing a lot of zone, which it wasn't exactly his forte, tossing some injuries in there. Uh, and it led to a frustrating final year, right? And it's frankly, what, what tanked his draft stock. Because if you look back, like some of the early, way too early 2019 uh, NFL mock drafts, like Metters was going to be a day three pick. And then 2018, not so much, right? Uh, snubbed by the Senior Bowl, snubbed by the Combine, put on a show as Pro Day, though, ran a 4.3840, also had a 4.1 short shuttle, 6.63 uh, three cone, as well as had a vertical leap of 37 inches. Now, th those results have been good for 6, 15, 4th, and 6 uh, at the 28, uh, 2019 NFL Combine, respectively. Uh, ended up going undrafted, but was snatched up by the Vikings and had a great camp. Yeah, he was great uh, working his way on the 90-man roster. It was a star in preseason as well. Had nine tackles and a pick on 109 total defensive snaps. Had a 16.7 quarterback rating when thrown at. He was targeted eight times in preseason season which is good like dental floss johan santana era thin right also let all vikings in preseasons uh uh let all vikings cornerbacks in preseason pff overall grade as well as pff coverage grade they can nail that one too right for what whatever that is worth and was initially on the practice squad i thought that there was outside shot that he might make the 53 but they practice squatted him, and then week two, they called him up to the 53-man roster, uh, played a couple of games, played 47 total snaps over three uh, games week two, week three, uh, as well as the divisional round against the Niners, was intermittently up and down between the roster and practice squad. Um, you know, play, uh, like I said, played 47 total snaps in three games, uh, 11 on defense, 36 on special teams. So didn't see the field a, a ton, um, so not a great sample size there. But... I like him. Like, like just going back and rewatching some of his preseason stuff, he, he is this feisty uh, press man corner specialist who showed a lot of promise and in, in the preseason as well as training camp last year. Uh, and also, I mean, there's a massive power vacuum at cornerback. I mean, Metters could be uh, the guy that gets in the mix as well as a guy who's actually in line for some serious reps this year because, you know, we, we talked about it. it's Hughes and Hill and Heffy and Dantzler. I mean, is anything really promised for any of them? Not really. Like, even though Hughes was a first-round pick, even though Holton Hill's been doing the damn thing for a while, even though Hefe was the first-round pick, Dancer was the third-round pick, I don't think anything is promised to anyone, which is great because uh, it actually makes a cornerback room uh, a true meritocracy. It's not like it used to be. You know, Tr uh, Trey Wayne's year three is handed the job from Terrence Newman just because it's like, well, hey, you're a first-round pick. Do that. Also, I mean, they kept trotting Xavier out there because he's a former first-round pick and they paid him a lot of money. But everyone and their mom knew that he was probably the worst cornerback on the Vikings uh, at various stages in 2018, 2019. So uh, I'm glad that the decks are decks are cleared, and uh, I think that cornerback competition is going to be really exciting uh, this off season. So uh, a lot of good young talent you know, flowing through that room. I think Zimmer and Durante Jones uh, are frankly going to have a lot of fun, you know, rebuilding this cornerback room uh, in, in the image that they want the want it to be uh, in 2020 and going forward. But uh, your thoughts, Nate Metters, 
Pride to UCLA. Go Bruins. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support the work, pull some of the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value. <laughs>